Today's class was taught by COVID Safety Parrish, who's here to remind you to take all necessary precautions to avoid getting the invisible enemy, COVID-19, including disinfecting surfaces, washing your hands often, and covering your mouth when you sneeze or cough. Also, it's very important to maintain a long physical distance between others and avoid bears. Enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Mr. Parrish and I teach math. And today I'm wearing a mask to prove to you that if you go outside, you can wear a mask and you're not a snowflake if you wear a mask. Look, my glasses are fogging up. Am I gonna survive? Yes, because I'm a man and I don't wanna die. Anyway, we have a problem here and it says find the missing side of the cube. It gives us the volume of 125 meters cubed. In order to find the missing side of a cube, if given the volume, what you do is you take that volume, 125 meters cubed, 125 meters cubed, and you cube root it. Like so. The cube root of 125 means what times itself times itself is 125. Five times itself, times itself, is 125. What times itself, times itself, is m cubed? m times itself, times itself, is m cubed. And of course, we know that the cube root of a cube just cancels each other out. Hooray. What are we doing today? Well, we're going to talk a little bit about repeating decimals. We're going to talk a little bit about repeating decimals. We're going to talk a little bit about repeating decimals. We're going to talk a little bit about repeating decimals. You get what I did? I made a joke. <laughs> Look, it's Baby Yoda drinking tea. Before we talk about repeating decimals, let's talk about rational numbers. A rational number is any number that can be written written as a fraction. A number that can be written as a fraction. Fraction. Example, one half is a fraction. Three is a fraction. And you're like, no, uh, no, uh. Yes, it is. Because if I wanted to, I can turn three into three over one. Gotcha. What else is a fraction? How about 0. 0.5? And you're like, no, uh, no, uh. 0.5 is not a fraction, it's a decimal, Mr. Parrish. Check this out, young bull. You're wrong. Check that out, dumb burger. What about point six repeating? What about repeating? Yeah, that's a fraction. That's two thirds. What about the square root of a hundred? Yeah, that's a fraction. It's 10. So no matter what the problem originally looks like, if you could turn it into a fraction, then it is rational. Rational almost rhymes with fractional. Ha <laughs> ha. Put an F in front of rational and you almost have fraction. Just you need to add a C. Onward. I'll be back. The Terminator. I just quoted a movie called The Terminator. Why did I do that? Because to terminate means to stop. 
For example, when you get fired someday from your job, you're officially going to be terminated. Terminated decimals end like this. 5.2 ends or negative uh, 16.111. That dot 111 ends. A repeating decimal goes on forever. What the heck does that mean? What the heck does that line mean? That line means whatever that uh, line covers is going to be repeated. So point one, two, 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 one. What about this guy right here? What does that mean? What is that? What are those? What are those? What are those? Well, that line is only covering the four and the zero. So in this case, x equals 0 0.9. And since it's only covering the four and the zero, I'm going to do four, zero, four. Zero, four, zero, four, zero. And I could put dot, dot, dot to have it go on forever. I'll be back. The Terminator. T2, Rise of the Terminator, Terminator Genesis. Now on to something new. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that repeating decimal into a fraction. Let me drop some knowledge on you. Let me drop some knowledge on you. When I have repeating decimals, the way I turn it into a fraction is this. Whatever comes after the decimal, you just write down those numbers once and you put it over as many nines as numbers that are repeating. There's one number repeating and it's a two. So you put it over one nine because you only have a two repeating. There's a zero in front of it. So I am done. That is it. That's it. Can you simplify that fraction? No. How about the next one? I have two digits that are repeating. So I'm going to put it over two nines. Can I simplify that fraction? No. Can I divide the top and the bottom by three or anything like that? No. Uh, is there a zero in front of it? Yes. So I'm done. This is a very easy section. Let's watch a video. Repeating decimals, write each as a fraction. The trick with repeating decimals is you see how many digits repeat and you put that number over as many nines. So this is 0 0.2 repeating, only one two is repeating, so you put it over one nine. Then you see if it simplifies, it doesn't move on. 3.15, where the one five is repeating, one and five are two digits, that goes over 99. Both of those numbers can be divided by three. So the way you can simplify that is you divide the top by three and the bottom by three, and that's what you end up with. Last but not least, I have two and 103 is repeating. That goes over three nines. You can't simplify that. You can't divide the top and the bottom by three. We are donezo, 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 all three of them. Dunzo, that rhymes with funzo. <laughs> C.
Seven. Seven is the only number repeating. I need a pen. Seven is the only number repeating. So I will put it over a nine, a single nine. That's negative one point. Ah, I don't need the point, just joking. But I will put the negative one out in front of it because that's what I'm supposed to do. Once you're done writing out your fraction, you put whatever's out in front next to it and you're done. Wait a minute. 0.888, isn't that the same as 0 0.8 with the eight repeating? Yes, it is. How many digits do I have repeating? One. So I have eight over nine. Is there anything in front? Nope. So that's my answer. Easy. I have 50 repeating. So that's going to be 50 over 99. My goodness, that's how many problems Jay-Z had. Is there anything that goes in front of it? Negative four. None of these fractions simplify. Don't worry, I checked. And we will deal what happens or what we will do when you do simplify a problem. Write a repeating decimal as a fraction. 93 over. 99, because 93 is repeating, and that's two digits. 99, my heavens, that's how many problems Jay-Z had. Anyway, there's an 8 in front of it. Can you simplify that fraction? Yes. Yes, you can. And the way you simplify that fraction is I notice that there's a three in common in both. So I'm going to divide the top by three and the bottom by three. And when you do that, you get eight and 31 over 33. Bienvenidos. 11. Why did I put that equal sign there? I'm a buffoon. 510 over three nines. Oh boy, that's how many problems I'm glad I don't have. Can you divide 510 by 999? Let's see. 510 divided by three. So if I divide the top by three and the bottom by three, I get 11 and 170 over three, three, three. I can't go any further than that. Don't worry, I checked, I am done. That's a repeating decimal. That's a repeating decimal. Repeating decimal. <laughs> A forecast cone defines the probable path of a tropical cyclone. I'd rather have an ice cream cone than a cyclone. The probability with that the center of a particular tropical cyclone remains within the forecast cone is 0 0.8 repeating. What is this probability of, as a fraction? Are you telling me that all I have to do here in this word problem is rewrite that repeating decimal as a fraction? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's rewrite it out. Eight is repeating and only eight. So I will put eight over nine. Is there anything in front of eight? No. Does that simplify? No, I am done.
That marks the end of the lesson. Describe how to write a decimal with 12 repeating digits as a fraction. Well, put it over 12 nines. Probably one of the easiest lessons you will ever learn in your entire lives. Having said that, it was fun teaching with this mask on. It was easy too. I can breathe. And it's not that hot. Sure, my cheeks are a little sticky, but I'm all right with that. Also, I don't have to worry about the coronavirus infecting my lungs and shutting me down. The only thing that's going to shut me down is negativity and haters. And let me tell you something about haters. They're my motivators. They're my motivators, I said. <laughs> All right. That's it.